यू नो द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीनियर हारमोनिक ऑसिलेटर इज ए की प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फिजिक्स एक्चुअली दिस प्रॉब्लम इज डेल्ट बोथ इन क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स एंड इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स हियर वी विल सी द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वन डायमेंशनल लीनियर हारमोनिक ऑसिलेटर पर्टिकुलरली इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स द बेसिक प्रॉब्लम इज एक्चुअली टू फाइंड द आइगन वैल्यू एंड आइगन फंक्शन ऑफ दिस लीनियर हारमोनिक ऑसिलेटर वेन वी ट्रीट द प्रॉब्लम इन वन डायमेंशनल स्पेस सो एक्चुअली दिस इज ए वेरी वेरी रिगरस प्रॉब्लम बट आवर एम इन दिस लेक्चर इज टू फाइंड द आइगन वैल्यू एंड आइगन फंक्शन ऑफ द वन डायमेंशनल लीनियर हारमोनिक ऑसिलेटर ओनली इन फ्यू मिनट्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कंसिडर ए लीनियर हारमोनिक ऑसिलेटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन टेक ए स्प्रिंग मास सिस्टम एज आई हैव सोन इन दिस फिगर एंड यू नो वेन दिस मास विल बी डिसप्लेस्ड फ्रॉम इट्स इक्विब्रियम पोजिशन इट वाइब्रेट्स और ऑसिलेट सिंपल हारमोनिकली एंड इफ द डिसप्लेसमेंट of the this mass from its equilibrium position is x then what will be the time independent schrodinger equation for this system you know this equation will be like this d2 psi by dx square plus 2m over h bar square times e minus v of x times psi equal to 0 here psi is the eigen function and you know as uh, the mass is oscillating sim uh, simple harmonically <coughs> and the spring is assumed to be massless so the potential energy function v of x of this system is half kx square but uh, you know that the frequency of oscillation is omega and that is root over k by m and so this constant k which is called force constant is equal to m omega square so Uh, this v x will be replaced by a uh, half m omega square x square so now the schrodinger equation becomes like this which i have shown in this next box now uh, our aim is further to solve this uh, differential equation and this uh, solution can be made by the method of substitution after some important substitution you can solve this and for this let us consider and another independent uh, another variable u uh, related to x like this u equal to alpha x where alpha is defined like this alpha square equal to m omega over h bar and we also consider a dimensionless constant lambda <coughs> defined like this this is 2e over h bar m by k square root or you can say this is 2e over h bar omega <clears throat> this is actually a dimensionless constant so when we will make this substitution in that equation your equation will reduce like this now this equation will become d2 psi by du square plus lambda minus u square psi equal to 0 actually this is a dimensionless form of the above equation now the form of this standard differential equation refers that its solution can be a uh, uh, written as psi equal to e to the power minus u square by 2 phi of u where phi of u is a function of u so this is just uh, uh, its solution is e to the power minus u square by 2 modulated by this function phi of u actually here minus sign must be taken uh, for uh, psi to be actually <coughs> defined because when you will take plus u square by 2 psi will become infinity when u or x will be infinity so definitely that, that will be not a valid wave function so i have taken here minus sign now taking this psi equal to e to the power minus u square by 2 times phi of u when this uh, value of psi will be substituted in this equation uh, which is a dimensionless form of this uh, of the equation then what will be the equation you can do the algebra after substituting this you can see that this equation will become d2 phi by du square minus 2u d phi by du plus lambda minus 1 phi equal to 0 okay 
now if this constant uh, lambda minus 1 is replaced by 2n where n actually are integers that is 0 1 2 3 and so on then this equation will become a standard equation of mathematical physics which is called Hermite differential equation okay so we will replace this lambda minus 1 uh, equal to 2n because when this lambda minus 1 will uh, be substituted by 2n only then we will get a finite solution otherwise this, this equation will diverge and so the uh, for getting a finite solution the equation must converge and for that you must have to put to a lambda minus 1 equal to 2n so now this equation becomes d2 phi by du square minus 2u d phi by du plus 2 and phi equal to 0 this is the well-known Hermite differential equation and you know this is uh, a, a, this equation is a second order differential equation with variable coefficient and this can be solved either by numerical method or by the use of power series and its well-known solution after power the solving it by method of power series is obtained in the form of a polynomial which is called Hermite polynomial. So the solution of this very equation uh, is phi equal to hn of u. Actually this hn of u are nothing these are Hermite polynomials okay and uh, I have defined actually Hermite polynomials here you can see hn of u is equal to minus 1 to the power n e to the power u square and dn by dun e to the power minus u square this is nth order a hermite polynomial actually this formula which defines hn of u is known as rodriguez formula okay so now you can write what will be the uh, value of psi which is eigen function of this linear harmonic oscillator from here you can see this psi will be e to the power minus u square by 2 phi of u but phi of u have been recognized as hermite polynomial hn of u so this phi of u will be replaced by hn of u and uh, again you should uh, think that to normalize this function we must multiply the rhs of this equation by a normalizing factor and so uh, the normalized eigen function psi n of u will be given by n n times e to the power minus u square by 2 h n of u. Here actually this n n is the normalization factor and when actually we will apply the normalization condition then this, uh, uh, this n n comes out to be like this. This is alpha divided by 2 n 2 to the power n n factorial times root pi whole to the power half and therefore psi n of alpha x or you can also simply say psi n of x because alpha is a constant that will be equal to this much times e to the power minus alpha square x square over 2 because u is equal to alpha x and times hn of alpha x so these are the eigen functions of this uh, this one dimensional linear harmonic oscillator okay now we will get uh, the energy eigen value of this oscillator by this condition that you know that uh, this lambda is equal to 2n plus 1 and this lambda you can see here is related to the energy value e so uh, you can write that uh, this lambda is equal to 2n plus 1 and lambda will be replaced by 2en by h bar omega actually for n equal to n i have replaced e by en so 2en by h bar omega is equal to 2n plus 1 and so that en will be equal to n plus half h bar omega now you can see uh, what will be the different eigen values Substituting n equal to 0, you will get E0 equal to half h bar omega. This is actually called ground state energy or it is also called zero point energy. So, uh, in fact, the lowest energy or the 
minimum energy of a linear harmonic oscillator is not zero this is half h bar omega at even at absolute zero temperature it means the vibration will not stop okay and so this is called zero point energy this is the least energy okay and uh, the next value will be um, uh, when n equal to 1 and that will be 3 by 2 h bar omega and e2 is 5 by 2 h bar omega. So you can see that uh, the energy eigen values of a linear harmonic oscillator is not continuous but it is discrete and the this ener discrete energy spectrum is the quantum mechanical uh, feature of this linear harmonic oscillator. And all these, these energy levels are equally spaced. You can check that when you will subtract E0 from E1 and E2, E1 from E2, you will get the same value, which will be equal to H bar omega. So this uh, all energy eigenvalues are equally spaced. Okay. Thank, thank you very much.